Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! Well, this certainly doesn't look good, especially since Vegeta appears to be the only other functioning warrior who is remotely able to stand up to this false god of destruction, but even while Amaron appears to hold the edge over our heroes despite with everyone down and seemingly out for the count, I have no doubt that if there was ever a better time for one of them to truly make a difference here against this false destroyer, then I have no doubt that this is the one and only moment that Vegeta will have in putting that monster down for good. Our story now continues following the initial events of Vegeta surprisingly having to use the power of Ultra Instinct Omen and coming face to face with God of Destruction Amaron. As with everything on planet Sadala and within Universe 6 now riding on Vegeta's shoulders, it was only just as Vegeta was beginning to stare Amaron down was when Vegeta then went on to respond, I still have too little control over this power and so I'm not sure that it'll be enough against him, but if that bastard thinks that he's going to get away with committing such a massive massacre, then he's got a another thing coming. Well now, this pressure that you exude is exactly what I've been noticing, Amaron went on to then chime in. And so now then, here we are as you've made the effort to go all out, and so there is no reason for me to hold back any more power any longer, with Vegeta quickly responding, it's just as I thought that he's been making fun of us from the very start. To which as soon as a strange and dark energy was now beginning to envelop Amaron, was when Amaron then went on to continue, it's the one who shows the greatest foresight who emerges victorious in the end, Vegeta. And I know exactly how to win, to which upon Amaron then being shown attempting to attack Vegeta with Vegeta being shown getting out of the way, Amaron was in fact alluding to the idea that he was indeed actually hiding more of his true power in now having to reveal that against Vegeta himself, but it would only appear as though Vegeta is simply too fast for Amaron to do anything of the sorts in having to catch Vegeta, as Amaron then went on to say to himself, but how can this be? His movement, his aura, and that calm. I don't understand. To which as Amaron yet again was then shown having to miss all of his strikes against Vegeta was when Amaron then went on to continue. I have to ensure that my key barrier absorbs all of his blows so that way he won't be getting past my defensive here today. But what's this? He's not moving anymore, Amaron continues. He's found a flaw? And the flaw Vegeta did in fact actually find because before you know it as soon as Vegeta was then shown having to make his way in and uppercutting Amaron in the stomach but by no means was Amaron going to allow for this to slide so instead of having to do anything about it Amaron proceeded to reach his arm out as Amaron then quickly went on to shout now destruction as destruction now began to envelop Vegeta because the very moment Amaron was from that point then shown having to use the essence of what a god of destruction is to go as far as to envelop Vegeta whole by having to use his his destructive energy, with Amaron only going as far as to assume that this was in fact going to be the end of Vegeta, as Amaron then went on to continue, but what I want to know is what is the point of this power, for it's incomprehensible, but then, it was only just from out of nowhere as soon as Vegeta was then shown having to make his way out of the destructive sphere and now coming face to face with Amaron once more, this had only now proven that Vegeta's ultra instinct abilities while in their infancy, was actually still strong enough and capable enough in having to get Vegeta by, 
as Vegeta then went on to say to himself, I see, he seems to be able to move this destructive technique in the same way as Lord Beerus or that guy from the Tournament of Power. Oh, so you've already faced this kind of attack. Am I wrong, Amaron questions? No, I'm not wrong. I'm never wrong. And so I know you did. To which upon Vegeta once again making his way towards Amaron as Amaron was shown blasting Vegeta with multiple attacks was when Amaron then went on to continue. I see, so he is able to envision the trajectories of all of my attacks now, is he? All of the possible scenarios and to find the one that favors him the most. However, even when scanning him, he doesn't appear as though he really knows as to what he is doing, which only means that he hasn't mastered anything at all and is forced to pause to think of all of the possible courses of action that he needs to take. Yes, for that is his flaw, Amaron says, and as I have to multiply the possible options so that it doesn't take him too long to spot my flaw, Amaron continues, and as during this time when he is vulnerable and searching, I can hit him with my blows and it'll be like playing a poker game against him and so now that's the perfect timing Amaron shouts to which as Amaron was then shown having to make his way and attacking Vegeta and from there being shown having to blast him he had only now looked as though Amaron was in fact able to strategically find an opening to penetrate Vegeta and getting the better of him as Amaron then went on to respond this power while not mastered is full of flaws but you are still far too dangerous and it's not this simple sequence that you should go and take down and so now go ahead Vegeta attack me to which as Vegeta was then shown getting angry and attempting to do so prior to Amaron being the first to attack Vegeta as Amaron then went on to quickly respond oh too slow come on Vegeta give it all that you have for it's the fight of your life that you're banking on here this demon is slaughtering our people before our very eyes one of the Saiyan admirals went on to then chime in and we're powerless to do anything to stop him. Miserable. I, I am miserable and I can only count on you, Vegeta, as the emptiness and this pain inside of me are just indescribable. Switch back on over with Vegeta and Amaron as Amaron was clearly now shown being in control as Vegeta was unable to catch him. That was when Amaron quickly went on to respond. Yes. Do you see what you're forcing me to do to make you obey Vegeta? You have no choice. Chance. But surprisingly enough, as Vegeta was shown having to fake one of his kicks before having to raise his leg up in the air, it was only during that moment where Amaron had realized that he was now beginning to underestimate Vegeta's ability very much so, until of course that was where Vegeta had gone as far as to from that point then be shown stomping on down and having to drive Amaron down onto the ground, it had only become fairly clear now that Vegeta still had a lot of fight left within him, in which even despite with Amaron being shown missing one of his death beams as Vegeta went as far as to move his head, that was when Amaron then went on to continue. Each of your strokes is so precise, so impactful, for you made me lose a lot of strength as this is true, but I am not going to complain on the other hand because the time that you take to concentrate your technique before each of your rushes towards me is so important that you can't necessarily take the risk every time while doing so given what I've just done, and so you can't win with Vegeta responding and so let's get down to the facts then Amaron. Well of course and yet with this power you ventured onto the territory of the gods Amaron continues and for that you are going to die by my hand. The irony has come full circle hasn't it? With Vegeta responding huh. your body screaming at you to stop while blood is coming out of every direction and so you're the one who is in the weakened position here god of destruction. Ho oh, ho. Do you think so? Amaron went on to then sinisterly ask. Well then watch this, to which upon Vegeta's own horror, as Amaron was then shown having to drive all of the Saiyans on planet Sadala in one direction, he had only now seemed as though Amaron was beginning to pile up every single living Saiyan on the planet in one giant ball and having to do something and getting rid of them in order to trigger Vegeta further, because the very moment upon Vegeta having to see this in utter shock before lunging forward and uttering for Amaron to stop, it was only from out of nowhere where Amaron was then shown 
Amaron having to use one of his energy hooks and having to further drive it through Vegeta's shoulder with Amaron having to yell for him to come over here as Vegeta then went on to grab onto the chain by responding, no, you are my prey, to which as Vegeta was then shown getting up close and now beginning to formulate an energy blast within his mouth, it was only just before Vegeta was even able to fire off this gigantic energy blast where Amaron from that point had looked utterly terrified by this, but it was only just then suddenly from out of nowhere shockingly enough as Vegeta had gone as far as to burn out and reverting back down to his base form was when Amaron went on to then chime in. I see. Interesting, for it seems as though that this power of his was not on the level that it once was 10 minutes ago, and so he can't seem to take it anymore, to which as Amaron was then shown removing the hook from Vegeta's shoulder as King Sadala went on to address the Saiyans, it only had now looked as though the Saiyans' best chance of having any sort of pushback against Amaron was seemingly gone, as King Sadala went on to address the other Saiyans around him by responding, you are all safe and sound, as even though I can't move my body as it feels heavy, Kale's still lying unconscious. For Vegeta had went and used the monstrous power, but he hadn't mastered it at 100%, and so the backlash was terrible. To which towards the very end, as Vegeta was shown having to bleed out from his mouth with Amaron keeping his foot on top of Vegeta's cranium, it was only right then and there now, during that moment, where the Dragon Ball Super Kakumi manga chapter number 26 special then comes to a close. Now, this manga chapter, not for nothing to me, was a very entertaining manga chapter, especially when considering the fact that Vegeta was actually able to gain an additional power-up that was outside of Ultra Ego, but the one thing that I did really sour on was seeing the fact that Vegeta was able to go this far, only to get put down by Amaron in the end, and I'm only more so curious now behind how they're going to be able to bounce back from all of this, because Amaron thus far has set the precedent to really give it to our heroes within Universe 6 so far, with the only other individual that has any sort of ability to fight back being Vegeta now being put down by the very end, and so this only now begins to beg the question as to what exactly they're going to introduce as the story ends up continuing, and so I would like to get your thoughts down in the comment section below about the overall portrayal that was of Ultra Instinct Omen Vegeta having to go up against Amaron, and what are some of your overall expectations going forward as this story ends up continuing, so again, I want to thank you all so much for watching everybody, thank you all so very much for your time, to which as always, if you also just so happen to be new to this channel, and of course have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball related, then I do encourage for you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button on top of making sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below. Tune back in for so much more. Also check out the creators to which I will go on ahead and leave their links located down in the description box below as well. So with all that being said, I'm hoping that Vegeta is able to bounce back and really give it to Amaron coming up next. But to that, we're going to have to wait patiently and seeing as to what's going to happen. So again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, everybody and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>